of people watching, but uh, we do. Well, there's five, but none of them are like in chat, <laughs> so like they don't have like Twitch accounts, which is kind of interesting. If you like uh, live board games, make sure to follow us on Twitch. Because we have play, some we play every Friday night, but we um, also try to play like I'll stream whenever like I have people over doing other stuff. We also do a podcast on Tuesdays, which is. Um, also on iTunes, so if you check out uh, Epic Gaming Night, you can check us out on iTunes. Which factions did I sleeve? They gave it sleeves for all of it. You know how much money that had been? Uh, no, they had a deal uh, if you pre ordered. Did they come with enough for just the stuff in the set? or? Um, they came, yeah, there was. So at Gen Con, are you going to finish up all your missing stuff? Yeah. I'm gonna try to. Well, they sell them for five dollars a pack. Oh, yeah, five packs, awesome. dude. Just regular price, ten dollars. You get a lot of game. Like even like the starter sets, like yeah. the very first came out of with. I feel like you get a lot of game just for the amount of price that they are. I wish I had more people to play this with. It's just honestly, I don't get to play two player games very much. I just have too many people, or there's not necessarily a lot of people that want to play two player games. With me. <laughs> See, I like getting beat. Um, and it's not, I take that back. I don't like getting beat. I like learning. And I like playing against people that are better. It's not fun when you play against the same old people that you can beat every time. At least it isn't to me. That's why with well, people I mean, maybe like that. Once, but I'll, then you feel real bad if you keep doing it. And they probably won't play with you if you keep doing it. That's why with the people that I am better than, I usually always introduce new games. So it's like, oh, well, you lost because you don't know this yet. Oh, you've been lost because you don't know this yet. So next time you play uh, War of the Ring, are you going to try the opposite side? Um, I, I may. Um, I don't know. I just, man, I really love the depth in now thinking so much in the future because there's cards I should have done. That's just, I'm still trying to wrap my brain around it. It was yeah. just, it was a lot of fun. So how do we decide who goes first? Don't we roll a die or something? Yes, we roll a die. Throw a three. Five. Four. Cool. So I'll go first. So that stinks. So that means I don't get to draw or anything like that. Yep. Um, when the opponent rolls to attack before any fuck up. Let's go. These guys have range in one. I'm going to have to read all these. One, two. And then well, I probably shouldn't even read him then. <laughs> but I can only move two guys. Um... Add one to the attack phase. Right? What? Common or champion unit you control with the word light and their ability that is within two spaces. Just you see light. So it's basically each other. Crusader. That's kind of interesting. All right. When an opponent rolls to attack a friendly Vargraf common unit adjacent to a unit with the hold the line ability, add one to the attack value of every other common or champion unit you control with the word light in their ability name. That is, okay, ability name. Light of the foot. So it would be those guys. All right. So they're right there. And you only get to move two people the yeah. first round. And he is going to go... And he's not able to shoot over him, right? No. Okay. Actually, he'll go right there. And they can move to... And then attack. Yeah. So he's going to attack. Okay, hold and die. And it's um, four, five, or six. Mm -hmm. huh. And one's a critical hit, so you... No, I'm just kidding. Critical loss, so you lose a life. No, I'm just kidding. No, but the Phoenix Elves do have a critical hit where it's their ability. They don't roll die. They just yeah. there's one. It's ability. called precision. That's right. Yep. So now you go. Jungle Shadow. <laughs> this is crazy. Did I did I put too many? Okay, fine. There isn't like extra Jungle Shadows or anything weird, is there? Uh, there are a couple that have extras. Uh, this might be one of them. It, it's fine if there are. I'm not too worried about it. How many cards did I draw? Isn't it five? And you can only have up to five in your hand? I know it's a 
lower number. It's like five or six or seven or something. Like that. Okay. Um, draw. Draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. If you draw, pile is empty. You no longer draw cards and must finish the game with your no own cards. No magic. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I like. Wow. I bought this and at the last year's Gen Con. Thought it was fun. Actually, I got it before. I got the master set on my way to Gen Con. Um, but I've only played it like three or four times with people in person. And then I played the app a couple times. Weird. Wow, this is crazy. I have a magic. I can't like actually do that. These guys are ranged though. So I could go to here. How far do they shoot? They just shoot two, right? Um or they shoot three. Shoot three, right? Yeah, shoot three. So up to three, yes. So it'd be like if he was here, one, two, so three. That's one. You don't have any magic yet. No, I haven't been You've able to draw. You've got zero magic whatsoever. So this guy, start here. He's going to go one, two. My leader's going to go one, two. Oh my gosh, baby girl. Stalker's gonna go one, two, three, three. Get up in there. Okay. For my attacks, I'm going to attack with this shadow unit onto this guy. So I need four, five, or six. So six one hit. Um, this shadow guy is going to attack a defender with sure. range. So he gets hit. Um, I'm going to use his ability. I, at any time on your turn, you may return a shadow unit to your hand. This shadow, when the shadow unit is destroyed, you may spend one magic point to immediately replace it with the shadow unit from your hand. So I'm going to put this guy back into my hand. This guy is going to attack him. Yes. With three dice. Yes. One hit. So that guy goes through my magic pile. Hi! Okie doke. Um, <coughs> I'm also going to remove this guy back into my hand. Um, now it is magic phase. So I'm going to build magic. I'm going to build all this into magic. One, two, three. So was there jungle sh shadow jungles in there? Because my leader said something about shadow jungles, jungle shadows. I didn't know if there was an extra card for those. Possibly. Do you know where it would be in here? Um, I do There's not. There's a vine wall. Oh, this is the regular guy. Wait. Wait. Or maybe jungle shadow. Jungle sh oh, jungle shadow unit. Never mind. I'm, I was thinking of the other thing. That's Are you fine. about to come down those steps? Are you about to come down those steps? That's you. Really? Really, baby girl? Ooh. Okay, well, I can't do anything because I don't have anything built. So we're going to go here. One, two. Mm -hmm. One, two. Ooh. One, two. Jumping on them walls. And um, he's going to attack your wall. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think he's gonna attack your wall. One hit. Your turn. Okay, I only have one place I can summon from. I have to draw it to five, right? Yep. Five! Silly goose! She's crazy. Oh. You want to come in here with us? Yeah? Look at that light. Wow. That light. That's awesome. Look at that light. Boop. Wait. Did you... You're not building anything? Hold on. Yes, I am. Okay. I was about to say, I already drew. Oh, okay. no. That's fine. I was about to say, you need to build something, is yes. what I would tell you. <laughs> build something into magic, or else we're all doomed to not play a real game. <laughs> there we go. In fact, I'm just gonna do all three of them. Okay. Check your answer. That's um, your dad. That's his fault. That's his fault. That's his fault. I'm gonna spend one magic during my event phase. Um, if I do until the end of the phase, <laughs> it can move an extra movement, and uh, it gets an extra attack. So. That's good for it. Your hands. your hands are disgusting. If you can crawl on the floor, you're acting like a baby. You're acting like a baby. Look at your hands. Oh, that's great. Your hands are all dirty. She's crazy. She's crazy. That's awesome. You gonna stand? Or you wanna sit? Or you want Yeah, we can't hold those cards. We'll do this. Bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, those gotta stay there too. Boom 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 boom. We'll go here. Boom 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 boom. It might cost me four. Boom boom. One, two, three, four. Is that champion already? Yep. Boom 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 ba da boom ba boom. The child. When moving the child during your movement phase, you may move up to one additional space. At any uh -oh. time on your turn, remove all wound markers from this card and return it to your hand. Remove all wound markers? Yeah, so basically I can take it off the yeah. board to put it back in my hand. We have to put four magic again. They have to play it again. But like if you're about to kill it, I could just like deny you Ooh. deny you the one magic for being close to killing yeah. it or whatever. But it's only on my turn that I can do that. Um, so now we're going to go to movement. So this one's going to go one, two, three, because it can move three spaces. Yep. This one's going to go one, two, three. three. Yep. And uh, my leader is going to go. One, two. So this could be crazy. Could this be... could be crazy. What is your guy's ability at the beginning of. At the beginning of your turn, choose one common unit you control within two spaces of her. Add one to that unit's attack value until the end of this turn. And you may immediately move that unit up to one space. Okay. Um. What are you doing? Keep playing with that. You can get hurt. That would hurt you. I'm Let's going to oh. attack him with my leader. Full tree. That'd be one success. Uh, yeah, one success. On who? This Crusader. Oh, sweet. What are you That's doing? Fine. Um, the stalker is going to attack the defender. No. It's two dice. It's plus one since I spent a yeah. thing to do. Da -da -da. That goes to my magic pile. Um. And oh, that's then, your foot. I thought that was a baby. I was like, no, oh, just kicked your baby. But you keep hitting me like this. I'm going to nah, never do it. Um, and then the child will... I think it's going to go ahead and attack the Crusader. So two dice. One hit. 
My turn. Burr, burr. Um, I need to build magic. For this. this. I'm gonna draw my three cards while you're doing that on this side. Yeah, what you do. That's pretty fun. Man. I'm gonna build two. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it is the event phase. Mm -hmm. So it goes event and then summon. So I'm gonna go. Well, I guess summon. No, event. Event and summon. I guess you're right. Draw, summon, summon play, play events. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Because you can't build walls and then build guys off of the walls. Yeah. Because that would be awesome. It would be really good. You trying to? You, what are you trying to do? You silly goose! <laughs> All right. So draw. Mm -hmm. Draw. Summon. Play events. Mm -hmm. Choose one. Either place two wound markers on a common or champion unit within uh, three spaces of your summoner. Ta -ta -ta! Or place four wound markers on a wall. I'm going to place two wound markers on him. Oh no. Flip it over to the one side. Thank you, sir. And then I am also going to do. I really want to chat, but I'm going to bring up it on my phone. If people are talking in chat, I'm really sorry because I haven't seen anybody talking. So, but it seems like there's too many people in in chat to not be talking. But hey, thanks guys for watching. You guys are awesome. At the beginning of your turn, choose one common unit you control within two spaces of Moria. Add one to that unit's attack value until the end of this. I am going to. So this game is Summoner Wars. It is a uh, two-player game by Plaid Hat Games. Basically, um, you're trying to destroy your opponent's summoners and it's very tactical, moving your guys around. It's basically almost like a tactical miniatures game without miniatures, but it's kind of cool because it has a little bit of a Magic the Gathering element with building up magic and casting like your spells and summoning units to the board. Uh, but it, if either player defeats the other player's summoner, which my summoner is right here, and Rob's summoner is right here, if either of the summoners are defeated, the game's immediately over and the other player wins. For moving turn during movement phase, you may move at one additional space. The chairman may move through other there units, but we must end its space on the unoccupied. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Put it in your mouth. Don't you do it now. You want some pizza? Pizza, pizza. Mmm, huh. cheese. So, so one, two, and then my third unit is going to move right here. He's going to do his ability to add light. So what does it do? If somebody's within two spaces of him and they had light in their like light of foot add one to the attack value of every other common or champion unit you control with the word light in their ability name that is within two spaces well his ability name is shining aura no but his light of foot oh he's so within two spaces oh so he's giving it to him yeah gotcha that makes sense so what is he giving him just another attack dice and then at the beginning of your turn choose one common or within two spaces now that unit's attack value. So she's going to give him one more attack. Because it's within two spaces. Oh, gotcha. Weird. It's really weird. Okay. Actually, I take it back. He's going to give it to... So, light. Boom. Okay. So he doesn't have it. Okay. So he has two. We're gonna roll on your summoner. Okay. 
two hits. What if you just beat me right now? That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just summoner. One hit. How much? How much do I have left? I still have two. This guy only rolls for one, right? Yes. That still sucks so bad. <sighs> Missed. Missed. Is Carpal supposed to go face up or does it matter? Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. I've only played with a couple people. Yeah. I normally just do it so you can differentiate between these two. Got it. Okay, um, I draw four. Oh no, I draw three because I have two. Give me something good. These are not necessarily the guys that I need. I have a bunch of magic. I need something to spend it on. I did. Hey. That's bit, I bet that's my life. Is it alright if she comes in real quick? That's fine. As long as she doesn't judge us for my house being a mess. No, she won't. And if she does, we'll do it in the car after we leave. Two to put this one down. He's gonna be up all night though. That's a problem. How's Hi. it going? Nice I'm, to meet you. I'm Marlo. I'm sure you've watched us on our yes. horrible, horrible podcast. It's not horrible. <laughs> it's not horrible. So the first game we played, absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Love it. War yeah. of the Ring. It's very yes. much Lord of the Rings, like in a box. It is. It's so awesome. amazing. She's adorable. Isn't she adorable? She's awesome. Hi. Yeah. So you're not gonna like yeah. this because I kind of yeah. set you up on this. Sure. I'm sorry, but uh, I don't play. As the I put played this guy down for two. I'm gonna play this. Add two wound markers to every um, enemy uh -huh. unit that is adjacent to your summoner. If uh, one or more of those units are destroyed, then remove one wound marker from your summoner. So it kills all three of those guys. And you lose. And I get rid of one of these. That's awesome. Yeah, I had to take a bunch of damage to make that happen, but I kind of like played you right into it a little yeah. bit. Okay, I'm going out in the car. Yeah, I'll, I'll be out there in a minute. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. We'll see you. Um, I'm also going to spend to give this guy extra attack. Yeah. I'm going to spend one of these. So this guy has extra move and extra attack. Um, and then for movement, I'm going to go one... <laughs> Two. I don't know if that really helps, does it? It helps a little bit. It could, it could be good. One, two. This guy's range. I don't even need to move him. So that'll be fine. That can go one, two. That can go one, two. And then for attacks, we're just going to go ball or shot collar on this guy. Yeah. Um. So two from the shaman. So that's one. Um, this two. guy gets two, yep. so two from him. That's two. two. Um, and then the child is also going to attack. One more. Dude, so gross. Actually, you're not that gross. He's got a lot of health. I've got three hits left. My turn? I you're making I magic? Card. I've had that card in my hand. I didn't even read it. Ooh, this is not a very good draw at all. Row, row. That's actually really awesome. Hey, it's okay. Um, I I think I'm just gonna leave that sitting there. I thought about taking it off the board, put it back in my hand, but I'll leave it there. I'm gonna. Do I need to build magic? One, two, three, four, five. I'll build some magic. 
I'll bring that into magic. What does this do? I might actually need it too. He's going to give one to him. Okay. Two. Yes, he's dead. Yep. Two. One so hit. One hit. So he's got three all together. You can just put one of those over. Yeah. And then one. This might be over pretty soon. <laughs> no, I think you're going to win. I know, because you just moved your leader like closer yeah. instead of further away. Well, I I had a horrible draw. Build magic? Yes. How'd you have a horrible draw? Did you not have enough to... I didn't it? shuffle really well. I just drew all champions. Uh, just build everything. You should have just built everything, then. Should have. I mean, if you had too many champions, I would build like some of them, so that way you could actually play some of them. If you didn't notice, I got rid of like my entire first hand almost. Yeah. I even pulled guys off of the board and threw them in the trash can. <laughs> threw them in the magic can. Oh yeah, Summoner Wars is definitely a cool game. They also have an iOS app, so like if you have like an iOS phone, do they have it on Android? I think so. It's on both platforms. Yeah, so if you have a smartphone, you can download the Summoner Wars game. And the actual game is free, right? And you just get two factions? Yeah, you, you get two different. factions. Um, and you can only play with one, though, actually. You get you one faction. You get the, fa the Phoenix Elves, and you play against all the other ones. The uh, Fallen Kingdom, the uh, Mountain Vanguard, the but yeah, New you, Of course, it's like a free-to-play sort of thing, but you can yeah. buy like the other factions. So if you want to try the game out, you should download the Summoner Wars app, for sure. It's a lot of fun. It's free, and they're about to come out with a big upgrade for it, actually. I think the starter sets, too, are only, like, $20 or $15. Oh, yeah. For a starter set, And yeah. then the master sets are a little bit more, but you get so much in them. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Okay, so I need to draw four. Give me an amazing champion. difference between the shaman or just to do that guy. I think I need to do it that way. Alright, so event phase. I don't think any of these are really that helpful. No, that's not helpful. Um, I'm probably going to build all of that. Um, if I don't win. But, uh, so for movement... I'm going to move her so she can move two extra spaces. So one, two, three, four. So she's going to move one, Did two. Did she move through people? Yes. So she can move through people, and when she moves into a person's space, I will die. On a three through five, they take a damage. So on a one or two is the only way you take, don't take a damage. So she's dancing past you, doing damage to you. you ready for this? There you go. Um, that would be one more damage on your guy. Got it. Um, and she has four movement all together, so that was one, two, and then we go three, four, back to over here. So I get to roll again. That's another damage. So how much do you have all together? Seven. Seven. So I'm one away. So this guy's going to move one, two, and then my leader's going to move one, two. And then all these three guys are going to get to attack your leader. About to miss one, two, three, four, five, six times. 
It's gonna be um, embarrassing. Let me roll with my leader first so he can just finish it's gonna this be out You miss. Two hits. So. I had to go anyway. You know, I had to leave. <laughs> you know. So you ran into combat instead of away. Yes. This, this game is not normally as short as that. Um, normally it comes down to like where you're both out of deck and you're like doing like the perfect moves. See, for me it has never come down to that. Because really? the people I played against, they because I played Magic and stuff, I just like wiped the floor with them. Yeah, a lot of games I play, like some of the factions are really defensive too. And I try to play this game very aggressive, so I, yeah. I, I burn out a lot quicker. So sometimes like if you can outlast me until, it depends on the faction I'm playing. Yeah. If you can outlast the other player and then you still have cards and they burnt all of theirs, you can kind of like make it happen but I still absolutely love the game yeah let me give you give me you your characters back that I killed off I'm sorry about that yes. I'm sorry. I led you straight into that thing where I hit every single person around me though I don't know if that could have gone better it went pretty well seeing that I got three magic off of it and got to heal them <laughs> that's another thing about knowing the other factions is you might not have done that if you actually knew but I had oh, no if you clue. could dance had, like that probably not I had no clue what you had either I didn't know I could do that dancing thing either until do the jungle shadows now. yeah jungle Sweet. shadows I love it though I will play this again I hope so you have a ton of it yes well I whose was your guys mixed together uh, I was the mountain vargath and the um uh, vanguards. Vanguards. All I saw was like vanguard looking people. Did you have like, any animal looking people? I didn't yours? get them out. I gotcha. Did you have it in your hand at all? I had one champion. Gotcha. I was to say your people looked all like they looked the like vanguards. straight vanguards. Yeah. But you were playing the good factions and I was playing the evil factions. I actually Definitely. really like the Fallen Kingdom faction. I mean, it's um, like Fallen Kingdom and what is it? Fallen Kingdom and Phil? I haven't played. Uh, what is the mix for Fallen Kingdom on this one? No, it's the Fallen Phoenix. Oh, no, yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. That's like with Prince Illidan, like, undead or something. Oh, yeah. Crazy. Anyway, we're going to shut off the stream, guys, but uh, thanks so much for, for checking us out. Make sure to subscribe or follow us. And watch our podcast. Yeah, we have a podcast.